Holly Schneider, Executive Director of the Sheboygan Area Chamber of Commerce, and I am super excited today. I am with Brenda Archambo, and today is the day that some of the sturgeon hatchlings are going to be released <laughs> into Mullet Lake and Black Lake. So we're out here at the uh, sturgeon hatchery, is what it's properly called, right? On the Upper Black River. On the Upper Black River. So Brenda, really quickly, just give us an idea of why this is so important. I know you are you are Miss Sturgeon. <laughs> The important part of doing what we're doing is we've been at this 25 years. Okay. And sturgeon reproduce right about that age. So we've done one generation of work with these fish that are going to outlive us. Um, we do this because they are native to our ecosystem. Mm -hmm. They are a part of the ecosystem and they're very important that, that we keep them here. They're 1% of sturgeon populations worldwide are known to exist. Ours is one of them. And But it's very deeply entrenched in our culture in that, you know, Mullet Burton Black Lake and the Inland Waterway um, are well-renowned for having lake sturgeon and a sport fishery and seeing them in the springtime. And this is one of the programs whereby we collaborate with the, the Michigan DNR, uh, Michigan State University, Tower Cleaver, who owns this facility, because we're at the dam. Um, and so today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to walk in here, and what you're going to see is uh, sturgeon fingerlings that were born on this river. Mm -hmm. The river water runs through this system, and certainly we have filters, we can go through that process, but um, they're raised here because they imprint. They, they, they're natal. They want to go back to where they were born to spawn. It might take them 25 years, but so these fish today are going to outlive us, Polly. And um, we feel that it was important just about our local winter outdoor heritage mm -hmm. and our sportsmen conservation uh, movement mm -hmm. uh, throughout, you know, the upper Great Lakes. So come on in and Excellent. we'll show you what we do. Excellent. Okay. We're going to take a short one and we'll be back inside and take a quick tour. We're going to load up the tankers. We're uh, going to uh, get the fish loaded up to go and release them into Black Lake and Mullet Lake. But also, what is important, and there are uh, uh, a couple dozen of these fish are already over at Little Traverse Bay Band Ogawa Hatchery over by uh, Helston. And they are there so that um, in a couple of months, we're going to deploy some of these into statewide classrooms to educate, engage, and mobilize our next generation of conservation stewards, which is part of our Sturgeon in the Classroom program. Um, but because these fish are going to outlive us, we felt incumbent upon us as an organization, we have to reach out and engage the next generation, or, you know, where is it going to go from here? So, all right. 